New video shows a car hitting a woman and driving off. I tried hopping up on her hood. It was too late though, so smack flew. Now that woman is okay. She was delivering food to a car yesterday when it happened near 39th and Genesee Street. Police are still looking for the driver tonight. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez spoke with a victim today. He joins us live now outside the restaurant. Andres? Yeah, Mike, the victim is out of the hospital tonight. She's worked here at Tiki Tacos for eight months. It was towards the end of her shift when the accident happened. We want to warn you that some of the video you're about to watch is graphic. I'm doing better than yesterday. Yesterday was terrible. Early Sunday morning, Caitlin Connor was making the last curbside delivery of her shift at Tiki Taco on 39th Street. As she's about to hand over the food, I seen the car and then I seen him swerving or moving his wheel towards me. So I uh, tried hopping up on her hood. It was too late though, so smack flew. Kansas City police say the impact threw Connor eight to 10 feet from where she was standing. A witness told 41 Action News the restaurant's car prevented Connor from going even further. As soon as I realized what was happening, I, I tried moving my, my feet and my my toes, my my fingers, just to make sure everything was okay. The driver, who Connor believes was under the influence, kept going west on 39th Street. I'm shocked that he didn't stop, because what if I did die, you know? Connor suffered four fractured vertebrae and faces months of physical therapy to regain her strength from basic activities. Getting dressed, getting out of bed, not learn them, but you know, it's it's very painful to move my back. Connor's friends established a GoFundMe campaign to help with medical expenses and lost wages as she recovers. She now simply wants a driver of this dark sedan caught. I'm upset that he is getting away with it right now. And now Connor believes the car is a Chevy Impala or Malibu. It will have damage to the front end on the passenger side. If you spot it or anything about this hit and run, go ahead and call police or the Crime Stoppers hotline. Reporting live in Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News. Andres, thank you. Here's another look at the suspect's car. Like Andres said, it may be a Chevy Impala or Malibu. You can take a closer look at the car on our website, KSHB.com.